one more of our goodies from Black Friday today. Today I'm going to show you our new brush set. And this is a great brush set if you're just a beginner. It's got a lot of different um, different brushes, different tools that you can use for different designs. It's also a great kit if you are somebody who does a lot of hand-painted designs because there is a good variety. So today in our demo I'm going to show you all of the brushes that are in there and a couple of easy tricks on how to use them. So I'm going to start with the first brush is kind of a rounded brush. So these are a synthetic brush. You want to be careful how you are cleaning them. We have some great videos on how to clean your brushes, but just really quickly make sure that you're not using them in swipe or acetone and things like that because that can kind of dry out the bristle. Um, so only use a gel to clean out the gel from your brushes. So the first one I'm going to start with again is our rounded brush and my favorite thing to use this one with is our cream clays. Now the cream clays are a little bit of a thicker gel polish, but I like the shape of this brush and kind of the pressure that I get for using it to apply my cream clays. I can use this brush and it's going to give me a really good smooth application, really nice even pressure over the whole nail. And then also because it's that rounded brush back up by my cuticle area, I can get that product all the way up into that cuticle even kind of into those corners, those sidewalls, you can get really nice up and close, nice and even. Again, the rounded brush works great with those cream clays. On this next nail, I'm actually going to use almost all of the brushes from our kit, but I'm going to start with our ombre brush. And you'll notice that this brush, it looks like the bristles have been cut halfway down, and they basically have but it gives you kind of that space in between those bristles so that you can blend out and ombre your colors. So I'm gonna show you a fun color combination today. I'm gonna to use our Psychic Pixie and Vexed, and we're gonna do just a quick little ombre on our nail. When you're doing your ombres, I like to start up by the cuticle area, get my color up in there, and then pull forward. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can ombre, and you can use whatever techniques you're most comfortable with. You can start by using a little bit of that brush to kind of pull some of that color forward if you like to start with that. Now as I'm working, I do like to wipe out that extra just to kind of pull out that excess of the gel. Okay, then I'm going to go to my second color. Again, this one is called Vexed. And I'm going to start oh, about a third of the way up maybe. And then again, I'm going to use my ombre brush to just start to kind of pull and blend that color in. Now if you want to ombre, if you can get your colors to blend perfectly from this direction, great. But I like to turn them kind of on the side and then I work across the nail. So I'm just going to kind of feather up and down that nail from that orangey color down into that red. Just kind of feathering back and forth and then up and down. And because that brush isn't a solid brush, it has those kind of breaks in the in the bristles where they've been cut out, it's only going to blend little bits at a time. So it's going to really blend that color together nice and evenly. Now I'm going to do two coats of my colors here. So as you're doing your ombre, don't worry if it's not 100% perfect on the first coat. You're going to do a second coat and that's going to help to blend it in a little bit better. But do try to get that to blend as best as you can. Right. I think I'm going to pop that into the light to just set that first coat in place and then we'll come back with our second coat and that's going to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so we have our first coat. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing on our second coat. Again, starting with that kind of that burnt orange color. And we'll come back in with a little bit more of that red. And again, Blend backwards, however you're able to get those colors to blend, whether it's back to front or side to side, however you can get that to blend, whatever works for you. Okay, so I think I like that blend. I'm going to set that into place and then I'll show you another one of our brushes. Okay, so our ombre is done. The next brush is what I call my flower brush. You guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am not a hand painter. It is not my favorite thing to do, but with this brush, I can actually do flowers. And I'm gonna show you how I can do that, okay? So I've got a little bit of a 
color palette going on here. A couple of the colors we're going to use in a later design, but I'm going to start with the white. And the white is the um, fizz from our Mission Control gel paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of work a little bit of that paint into my brush. Now here's where, when I was learning how to do flowers, I didn't quite understand because I would watch people do them and they would go so fast. They would just do petal, 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 petal. And I was like, I don't understand how you can do that so fast. So slow it down. Okay, so this is what helps me is I'll take my brush. Again, I've got it kind of loaded up. I'll press the point of that brush down, get it to just kind of spread just a little bit. And then I'm gonna kind of pull towards the center of the flower and lift up on my brush and just pull toward the center, okay? So again, you can see it's just a little bit kind of a shadow of a, of a petal. Pick up a little bit more of my paint. So again, press down, lift up and pull to the center. Got a little more paint. Again, press down, lift up, pull to the center. Now, you guys, if you look at your petals and you think, oh my gosh, that's not a perfect petal, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn that finger a little bit onto the side. Again, same thing, press down, pull in. Grab a little more paint. Okay, so I've got kind of my petals set here. I'm just gonna go through one more time. Now that I kind of have them placed, I'm just gonna kind of just perfect them a little bit more. Give them a little bit better of a shape if I need to. And again, don't worry if they're not perfect. We're gonna do some more detail work that makes them look really pretty. this point I kind of have an outline of my flower. I'm going to pop that into the light and we're going to freeze that into place. Okay so we have our flower set into place. I'm going to go on to our next brush and this is we actually have two different stripers in the kit. So you can see we've got a longer kind of a skinnier brush and then we've got a shorter just a little bit a little thicker. So I'm actually going to use that smaller one. It's kind of a detailer brush. I'm going to come in with a little bit of our black. This is overdrive from our mission control. And then I'm going to pull out some of that excess. So I'm going to come through and just kind of outline my little petals here. And you can see with this brush, I can get those really nice fine lines. Again, with our mission control paints, it works great because those are so highly pigmented. So a great combination with this brush and the mission control. So again, now you can see that my kind of that shaping is now coming into place. So again, even if those petals weren't perfect when you started them, once you get this outline in there, they're gonna look more flower-like, if you will. Okay, so now I have the basic outline. Then before I cure, I'm gonna take just a little bit of paint on my brush. I don't want much. I'm gonna actually kind of use a little bit of what's already on that nail. And I'm just gonna kind of pull in just a couple of little lines right through that little point, just again to give a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color blending. Okay, so I've got my detail there. I'm gonna add just a couple of little, little dots right through that center just to kind of give me the look of that center of the of the flower. Okay, so I think I like how that's looking. Let's go ahead and put that into the light, freeze that into place, and then I'll show you our next brush. Now I'm gonna go to, this was our longer striper brush, and then I'm gonna add a stem to our flower. I'm just kind of pulling that brush down the nail. So a lot of times I'll just pop that into the light for a quick 10 second freeze if I'm just working on one hand. Otherwise just put one hand in the light while you're working on the other. So now I'm again back to our shorter brush. There's just a tiny little pearl of paint right on the end. So that tiny little pearl is what I'm gonna use to create my petals here, or my leaves, I guess. So I'm just gonna touch that right to the nail. Touch and lift up touch and lift up, touch and lift up. 
clutch and lift up. And then at this point, I'm gonna drag out any extra paint out of my brush. And then I'm just gonna pull both ends of that petal. I'm gonna pull out and then I'm gonna go in. So this is again, just gonna give you a little bit more dimension, a little bit more shape. And these are gonna be our little leaves on our stem. Okay, same thing on the other side. Pull away. And then pull to the stem. Okay, and again, we'll cure that in there, either freeze or fully cure. All right, you guys, so that design is done. I'm gonna wait and I'll top coat both of these at the end and you can see them then. I'm gonna do one more just really quick design because I've got one brush left and I wanna show you this. I'm gonna show you, I know it's not quite Christmas, but it's coming quick. So I'm gonna show you my quick, easy Christmas tree using this brush. And this is a square brush, so it's got a flat top to it and it's nice and straight on the sides. I'm gonna take just a little bit of, I've got Giant and Clash, which are our two greens here, and then a tiny little bit of Clutch, which is our brown. So I'm gonna just kind of load up just Oh, maybe the top quarter of the brush with a little bit of that green paint. I'm gonna keep my brush a little bit kind of straight up and down. Now this is, those of you that know Bob Ross, you're gonna kind of channel your inner Bob Ross here. So we're gonna just kind of do a little bit of pressing and just using that edge of the brush to create our tree. And I'm just kind of tapping, I'm gonna load that up just a little bit more. Again, keeping that brush kind of straight up and down, tapping onto that nail. You don't wanna overdo the paint because if you get too much on there, you're not gonna get kind of that texture or that spacing in between those branches. So just make sure, leave a little bit of that white space kind of showing through. Okay, so I like how that's looking so far. I'm gonna set that base layer into the light for just a quick 10 to 30 second, just enough to freeze that into place. So we've got that base layer. I'm gonna add just kind of for some accent, a little bit of that lighter green. And again, just like we were doing before, just kind of tap in. Again, you don't wanna overdo it with that color. All right, I think I like how that's looking. Bring that to a nice point on the top. Okay, and then one last detail. I'm gonna go back to my um, shorter brush, my shorter striper, take a little bit of that brown and just give ourselves a nice little tree trunk. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna top coat all of these nails and then I'll show you the final look. Channel now. Sub